All right, good morning, everyone. We are all loaded up, tater tots hooked up, leaving Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and four hours and 52 minutes away, arriving at 3.26 p.m. Mountain Time, checking into the Phoenix Raceway. Thanks for joining me on the channel, guys. I will be uploading this video with some connecting internet. Check out video description below for unlimited high-speed internet anywhere on the road. All right, sign says, see you soon. Exit on Speedway Boulevard. Yes, probably will be back. Really, really liked this track a lot. The best NASCAR experience yet, but we're not done this year. <laughs> Clearance, 14 foot, 10 inches, and we made it. We're half done. Half done with our race two week. <laughs> All right, we're rolling through Avondale, Arizona now, about three miles from the track, just outside of Phoenix, but far enough away so that the track noise doesn't affect uh, too many people in this area. And I am assuming that we are probably going to follow this big Class A and trailer from Montana all the way in there. So, so luckily this time we will actually probably have some help knowing where we're gonna go and, and how to get in here and everything. There is also another Class A behind me in the side mirror there so we're gonna stay in this lane for a little bit and and find out what we need to do all right these rvs got away from me but uh we are approaching this very first time visiting the phoenix raceway here and uh yeah uh, i'm gonna turn in here because they did but i really don't know okay we're here we're checked in parked somewhat level i lucked out once again my site here at phoenix no neighbors this is all open right here it is a sloped a little bit like you can see that fifth wheel over there this kind of not level but we'll take it because like i said we got no neighbors here tomorrow i'll set up the projector screen over there and, and we'll get that stuff going but uh, we're gonna go see a friend uh, i'm about two hours away from courtside and uh, alex from our courtside mobile traveler group she's in the hospital here in phoenix or goodyear actually right she's in goodyear. goodyear so we're gonna go we can go say hi to her because I bet she doesn't get a whole lot of visitors and probably could use the company. So, um, and then we'll get back here and probably grill up some bergs. Got my flags starting to go. Heck yeah. And look at this sunset off in the distance behind me. Let me get out of the way. That's sexy. That's a sexy ass sunset. It's day one. This is uh, Monday, day one. We check out next Monday. <laughs> so we'll just see how much we can handle of this. Gotta get surgery probably tomorrow. Oh yeah, your cast. Off. Yeah, I'm gonna get Good. surgery tomorrow. Probably a new cast on though, huh? Yeah. All right, so I will catch you in a little bit. All right, got everything I want set up now. Projector screen ready for a funny movie tonight. Uh, Dottie from uh, the spot is supposed to be camping too in a different campground. A couple other friends might be here. We got a really good site here, but just gonna kind of see what's going on basically uh ali and i did go to see alex last night at the hospital here in goodyear and uh i don't know she's not doing too good but she's feeling better she's in good spirits she was really happy that some friends stopped by to see her at least but um yeah she's gonna need to stay there a little longer meantime we're gonna go try to find walmart no there's actually a walmart in the campground I'm going to try to find it right now. All right, so there's plenty of outhouses all over the place. Lots of garbage cans, which is something that uh, Vegas did not have. They just want you to throw your garbage on the ground, and then they pick it up. Also, they have a porta clean Complimentary showers. There's their hours. There's showers in that trailer there as well. Here's the camping host. Hey, guys. More porta potties I guess we're looking for a big tent somewhere. Big tent. The uh, front stretch, the back of the front stretch is right there. Uh, I guess these big Walmart trailers is where the Walmart's at. A couple of those are reefer units, and then they have this big, huge building right here. Kind of like the big tent in Quartzsite. Let's go find a spot to park. Go check it out. It's cool, because every time I go to a new track, there's something uniquely different. Yeah, we, we, we lose certain stuff, but then we gain stuff like a Walmart in the campground. Here we go, now open, there's their store hours. So we arrived Monday, yesterday at noon is when they opened, 6.30 to 9 p.m. pretty much, a couple later hours on Friday and Saturday, but yeah. And of course, cashless 
cashless cards only. Mm -hmm. Look at this, Allie just pointed out they even have uh, cat treats and canned cat food and stuff. Duct tape, actually I do need some tape. That's perfect. And some RV accessories like cords and stuff and cleaner. So cool, what a great, I'm so glad Walmart came to the racetrack. We did get some stuff anyways, a few things we needed and uh, if they run out of anything, they, they just bring in more trailers. So uh, that's gonna be super helpful and unique to this campground, pretty cool. We left the campground real quick. Not something that I would think is normally associated with the state of Arizona um, is fresh, clear creeks and waterways. That's some, some nice looking water. And I'll bet there's probably fish in there. I think that's what people are doing around here. Across the street, maybe he's got a chair out. Yeah, somebody is fishing over there. But yeah, look at this. That's a sandy beach in Arizona leading into, that's eh, still kind of mossy, dirty water. But man, it's water in Arizona. There's Allie over there. There's Tater Tot over there. Okay. Nice little uh, river running through it. I don't know if it's really a wash or what. So we haven't got rain here in the Phoenix area for a week. So I don't think it's a wash. I think this really is a river. Wow. It's really nice. Huh. Bunch of ducks over there. Never know what you're going to find in Arizona. Oh, and we found Dottie. She's like behind us in the other campground nearby. She's walking distance, so we took the car around. She was just setting up. We were there. We're going to come back later. and That's fun. They bring the dartboard out. How are you doing, Allie? I'm good. I'm having fun. <laughs> found a fish. Yeah, she found a dead fish. It's nice water, though, here. It is. Let's go swim. Okay, let's go. All right, we got lost and wound up at In-N-Out Burger. I love it. I don't get it too often, so uh, we got an order in. We're going to have some In-N-Out. Here's mine. Here's Allie's for Where does it go? <laughs> to my cast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, it's no water burger or five guys. That's good. That's good. So now that I'm traveling with not just myself and the kitties, but with Allie too, uh, we're, we're not going to make it till next Monday. So uh, on site services here goes to the RVs and for a fee, they will dump your tanks for you. Usually I would be more on top of it. I could have stopped between Las Vegas and here and dumped, but I did not, should have. We have enough water and we're gonna get the uh, tanks dumped. Well, I didn't know it was that much. It's $50, <laughs> but it's better than going in an RV park. And this way, I mean, it's actually sucking everything. It's always good to get a good suck out of your tanks. That way, you know, they're really empty, right? It's basically better than rinsing out your tanks your, or flushing your tanks. It's literally sucking everything out of the tank. All right, got tater tot parked here. We're gonna walk over and see if there's anything going on in this tent over here. So this is the back of the front stretch, one of the entrances here at gate two. And this is what we're gonna check out. It's the Huss Brewing Ale House. Something's going on here tonight. We're gonna check it out. We got some uh, $5 off coupons for drinks and food and they're doing uh, trivia right now. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, Huss Brewing out of Arizona. It's a local craft brewery here in Phoenix. I love race fans. Oh, All right, I'm trying the uh, Scottsdale, and she's got the IPA. They're doing, they're filming some bowling next door for PBA live on FS1. We'll go see what they're doing. This is so cool. They built a bowling alley in here temporarily, and they're filming live for FS1. Wow, look at all this gear. It's crazy. Wow. It's pretty cool though. A bowling alley. Look at this, all the little gear. All the cameras. Oh my gosh. Screens. Trivia, but we're gonna be doing bingo next, hanging out with some friends here. Bingo's next, yeah. 
Now, I feel bad for not filming much tonight, but I have been having an awesome time here at the campground. This is the first NASCAR race ever where I'm not camping in the infield, but on the outfield, outside the track. And yet, I met so many cool people, been hanging out and meeting new friends and having a blast. And everyone here has been super friendly and awesome, and uh, I'm happy. Coming this weekend, though, we got the Arca race on Friday. There is no trucks craftsman series this at here in Phoenix and then we've got Xfinity on Saturday which I have plans for and Sunday's race new plans for so we're gonna see how this is gonna work out and how we're gonna have fun and how everything goes together in the meantime uh, I need to get some sleep just want to get this video uploaded we have a good weekend we're gonna be right here until Monday morning you guys have a good night more to come